Hello, Fractal Imaging fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. In the last episode, we were showing you the registry software write blocker that is very widely circulated around the internet. And I've seen a number of forensic examiners use this free registry write blocker to write block USB ports so that USB drives can be imaged in a write blocked manner. And they think that this is working. So we had created a couple of test documents and we'll head over there right now. And uh, we had shown that we could write to it even after the write blocker was plugged in and or turned on. And then we explained why. So because the USB was plugged in before we started the write blocker, that's why we could write to it. So let's eject this. And now let's plug it back in. And it's plugged back in. Now let's see if we can write to it. Ah, it's right protected. So now the right blocker is working as it should. Or is it? That's another question. What are you doing to test your right blockers, whether they be free, software, hardware, paid, no matter what? CRU has a right block validation utility that tests right blocking of devices. So I'm going to pick my USB drive that is supposedly protected by that registry right blocker, and I'm going to run a test on it. Because there's a number of ways to write to a disk other than the way we know how to write to it. And that's what this write block testing tool is doing. And as you can see, it was able to uh, modify some sectors, so the write blocking test failed. In other words, it says that this registry write blocker is not effective. Let's try it a different way. Let, even though uh, this is not the normal way you would write to a drive, I'm going to open the drive up in a hex editor. And I'm going to open up the, uh, the physical drive. I don't want to open it as read-only. Yes, I know it'll make changes. I'm going to go to sector three, which is an empty sector. Remember, this USB stick is right blocked. I should not be able to, to write anything to it and save it. Warning, yes, I just saved it. Let's close this now and let's go back and open it up again and see if those changes stuck. Because, you know, sometimes with caching, you see things happen and they didn't really happen. It just looked like they happened. And when you go open it again, the changes you made aren't actually there. Well, indeed, our changes are here. So yes, I can manually write to this drive in a hex editor, even though it's write blocked. That's bad. So let's look at something even scarier in the next episode. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.